Before you launch your business, you need to have a plan. Otherwise, you are just planning to fail. In this video, I will teach you how to develop a simple business plan using the business model canvas coming up right now. So in the previous video, we looked at how to find the right business idea for you. And once you have found that idea, you need a plan. Usually when people hear about a business plan, they think it's some long, boring 30 page document that is so stressful to produce, but that is not always the case. Today, what we are going to do is we are going to be looking at a simple one page business plan, which we call the business model canvas. I'll briefly walk you through what a business model canvas is we're going to look, be looking at all the building blocks and i'll take you through the business model canvas of a fictional company that i just set up so that it helps you understand it better and then develop your own plan i also have the business model canvas template which will be available in the link in the description to download so you can download and then develop your own plan or follow along so what's the business model canvas? The business model canvas is a tool that helps you visualize and think about nine key elements or building blocks of any business. These elements are as follows. We have the value proposition, your customer segments, your channels, your customer relationships, your revenue streams, your key resources, your key partners, your key activities, and your cost structure. Now, these are key elements of any business. And once you're able to figure out the details of each of these elements, you would have a plan that you can build on in the future. Right, so let's look at each of the nine these nine key elements of the business model canvas in more detail and we're going to look at each of them one by one starting with the value proposition the first key element that you want to consider in your business plan is your value proposition and your value proposition simply means what you what value you're offering to the customer or what value you are delivering every business exists to create value or to solve a certain problem. So you put in there, what you want to put, put in in this space is the value that your business is creating for customers. How is your business different from other businesses and why should people choose your business? What is making you unique, right? So that is the value proposition. Now, once you are done putting in what your value proposition is, the next key element you want to consider is your customer segment. And your customer segment simply means who are you delivering this value to? Who is this value being created for? Who are you providing? providing your product and your service to. We have different customer type. There can be mass market. Mass market is suited for like general consumer products that is targeted at everybody. Let's say a food company or a snack company, right? That would be more like a mass market customer segment. You can have niche markets where your product or your service is targeted at a specific group of people with like a common characteristic. You can have segmented, you can have diversified, etc., etc. So you want to put in here what customer base you are targeting who are your customers now once you have figured out what value you are delivering and who your customers are the next key element you want to consider is the channels through which you will deliver your value proposition to your customer segment so you can have your own channels you can have partner channels let's say that i sell uh, products i buy products to sell i could either sell them by myself on my online shop or in a physical store or i could partner with other people i could have distributors who will pick my a product for me wholesale and then sell in their own shops and let me give you an example for instance for sassy technologies we sell a product called the zero fly hermetic bag and we use both our own channels and partner channels so our customers can buy the bags directly from us but then we also have distributors in different places which are maybe quite far from our, our office and the next building block we're going to be looking at is the customer relationship this simply refers to to what relationships you want to establish and maintain with your customers and this will again depend on the type of the product or the service that you are delivering but there are a number of options that you can look at you can have communities for for instance i have a friend that runs a travel business where people book her to take them on tours 
throughout Ghana and other places. And one of the ways she's building and maintaining customer relationships is through her online community. She has a very active Facebook group where people that are interested in travel go there, post their trips and just share ideas, chat about things related to travel and just keep the community vibe going. So that can be one of the channels. You can also decide to have, let's say, a live support system implemented on your website or have a dedicated WhatsApp line that your customers can reach you through. So over here, what you want to put here is the the kind of relationships you want to build with your customers and the ways that they they would be able to reach you when they need to reach you for assistance or for help or for whatever so the next key element we want to look at is your revenue streams and your revenue stream is simply how your business makes money and this could be through selling products or services it could be through leasing through usage fees through advertising through subscriptions every business will have a way of making money that makes sense to that particular business if you are selling fiscal products then you are you are you are making money from sales if you are offering a service you are making money from the offering of that service if you are you have an app or you have a blog or something one of the other ways you can make money is through advertising and your business can have more than one revenue stream if you have more than one revenue stream you also want to consider what are all the potential revenue streams your business can have and what is going to be their individual contribution to your overall revenue so go over here and then put in the revenue streams the way you intend you, you think that your business is going to make money so from here the next key element we want to look at is your key resources and your key resources simply refer to the resources that your business needs to operate what key resources does your value proposition require what things you what things do you require in order to deliver value to your customer and this can be human resources this can be like employees this can be fiscal resources like equipment or inventory and this can be financial resources which is like money that you need to say run marketing campaigns etc so go over here and put in the key resources that your business needs the next building block or key element you want to look at now is the key partners and your key partners simply refer to which other businesses or organizations do you need to work with in order for your business to run smoothly if you are selling fiscal products then one of your key partners would be your suppliers and another key partner could be your logistics provider or your delivery provider especially if you are going to be delivering these products to your customers so go over here and then put in your key partners over here the next thing we're going to look at is your key activities and your key activities simply refer to the key things that are involved in the delivery of your products and services like what do you do in the everyday delivery of your products and services what does it entail if you make a fiscal product that could involve production if you sell a fiscal product that could be procurement and so you go over here and then you put you put in all of the different key activities that you need to do in order to deliver your value proposition the last key element we are going to look at is your cost structure and your cost structure simply refers to the costs that are associated with your business in delivering its value proposition what kind of cause you in care to deliver your value proposition it could be things like wages rent materials and you need to figure out what are the most important costs that you need you need to take care of and the key resources that you need how much they cost and you know what you're going to have to spend money on now once you have this business model canvas all filled out you realize that you now have a plan that you can start working with obviously things will change and as you go along you realize that some of the assumptions you made in the beginning are wrong and you can always come back and update your your business model canvas as often as you want with all of the most current information so just go ahead and then start developing your business model canvas and just to illustrate we will look at the business a sample business model canvas of a fictitious company i made up called tropical treats let's say tropical treats is a Ghanaian dried fruits company that makes nutritious high quality dried fruit snacks uh, for both the Ghanaian and the export market so let's see how the business model canvas of tropical treats might look like so over here we see that the value proposition of tropical treats is that they provide nutritious high quality dried fruit snacks 
and one of their key selling factors is that they have a wide variety of tropical fruit options that are packaged in a very convenient and portable form now who are their customer segments they're targeting Ghanaian consumers and also targeting international consumers because they also export their products now what channels are they using to deliver their value proposition they have two channels the first one is a direct to consumer channel where you can go online and order their products and it will be delivered to you and they also have distributors which are grocery shops convenience stores malls where you can go and then buy their products what customer relationships are they building? They are building brand loyalty through consistent product quality and good customer service. They are offering promotions and discounts to encourage repeat purchases and they are also engaging with their customers through social media and uh, email marketing, letting them know what their latest products are and just sharing updates with the, their community or their customers. How do they make money? They make money through the sale of their dried fruit snacks and they also have wholesale partnerships with their distributors who can come and buy in bulk and go and resell. What are their key resources? In the, in the delivery of their value proposition, they need to purchase drying equipment and facilities, transportation uh, to deliver their products to their distributors. And they also need an advertising and marketing budget because this is a consumer product and they need to do a lot of marketing and advertising to be able to penetrate the market. Who are their key partners? They are key partners partners include fruit suppliers because they need to buy raw materials. It also includes farmers, distributors because one of their channels is to sell through distributors. So what are their key activities looking like? Some of their key activities include procuring the fruits that they need to process their snacks, drying and packaging the fruits, distribution to customers and their partners, and also marketing and promotion. And what does their cost structure look like? They have to spend money procuring their fruits, drying and packaging, distribution and logistics. They have to also spend money on general and overhead expenses like rent and utilities. So this is how a sample business model canvas for a company might look like. As you see over here on this template, you can put in the name of your business, you can put in the dates and you can put in the version. So anytime you revise the business model canvas, you can update the version so that you know that you are looking at the latest version. Again, I'm going to to leave a link for you to download this business model canvas and make a copy for your own business. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe and share the video because it helps the channel grow. And in the next video, we are going to be looking at the different business structures that you can set, your, set up your business as and what the advantages and disadvantages of each of them is. This video is part of the Business Essentials series that I'm producing for anybody that wants to start their own business. So make sure you're subscribed and you have notifications turned on so that you can get access to the rest of the video. So take care and see you in the next video.